air and bringing fresh air. Because once having done so, it should work. Yes, five. So we will move it aside. Now, you are familiar with the enchantment that allows us to conjure ropes, are you not? Yes, Professor. Yes, professor. Has Ms. McGonagall taught that to you? Yes, Professor. Last week. Last week, okay. Well, <laughs> muggles had to make them rather than conjure them. They wear these ridiculous things. Rubber gloves, why they can't use dragon's hide, I haven't the slightest idea. But they use this strange material called nylon. Apparently they use it for toothbrushes and women's stockings or something like that. Your parents are muggles, I'm sure you're familiar with it. Toothbrushes, I hope, not the stockings. They're not allowed at the school. So, we add this, like so. And then, withdraw the liquid. So, how much do you think I can withdraw from this? A lot, sir. Yes, as much as I wish to make. This nylon actually has considerable strength. Now, while this is continuing, I wonder if you have another demonstration you wish to show. Um, I believe these solids over here you wanted to show me one day about how you do not actually need a liquid to get a color change. Is that so? Yes, Professor. Okay. Your flasks and solid are right, solids are right there. Show me. More white powders again. I'm getting tired of this. I'm also getting tired of winding. I should have had you do this. Enough white powder, Professor? I suppose. What about the other one? Next ingredient, more white powder. Same song, third verse. A little bit louder, a little bit worse. Professor, a little shake, it makes a color change. Hmm. <laughs> That's impressive. Can anyone else see it, though? Not bad. From white to a yellowish color, almost orange, Professor. Not bad. And you do not need some liquid for this? No liquid, all solids. All hmm. white powder. 
quite amazing. Well, I think we've about reached literally the end of our rope. <laughs> now I shall wash this and I shall demonstrate that, that muggles can be dashed clever at times and make incredibly strong materials, even if they smell funny and feel worse. Now, Miss Granger, you will show me how you destroy materials, I believe, or what was that it? You can show me after I demonstrate the great strength of this material. Okay, well, now we will, to demonstrate the strength of this, this is a jug that weighs approximately nine pounds. Simply slip thread through. Hmm. Two jugs. 18 pounds. Not much to reach through there. Can you do something with these? Put those in. Okay, okay Miss Gridge, you've made your point. Leave them there. Ha, ha, ha. 